Hello, this is Roberto and welcome to my new channel. In this series, I'm gonna show you how to make a game in Unity starting from zero. Don't forget to subscribe, let's get started. So today we're gonna learn how to create our working environment, uh, which includes downloading Unity and Visual Studio and setting everything up so that we can start our making our first game. First of all, we go on unity.com and we click on download and clicking again here on download that is going to download the latest unity version automatically and in the meantime we go on visualstudio.microsoft.com and we download visual studio and that is also going to download the latest version automatically okay once we're done we go on our downloads and we have visual studio installer and unity app set up now what is unity app so if we double click, let's install that. Okay, let's run it. Basically the Unity app is the launcher for uh, Unity engine and uh, it will show you projects that you have, uh, you're currently working on. Now I haven't any yet, so what I will do, uh, I will create a new project. But first of all, what we have to do we also have to install Visual Studio. Okay, Visual Studio Installer. Once you're done installing Visual Studio, what you should see is something like this. Now you can go and click on Continue Without Code. So that opens up an instance of Visual Studio, okay? So what you can do, uh, you go to Tools, then you click on Get Tools and Features. And this is gonna open up an additional wizard where you can uh, download additional content for your Visual Studio installation. And what you need to, uh, in order to be able to work with Unity is this checkbox, this content, so uh, Unity development, okay? So you check this and you click on install here, okay? And once you're done, you can close uh, Visual Studio. Okay, let's go back to uh, our Unity app once we're done with our Visual Studio installation. And the next step is to take a look at the installs we have for our Unity game engine. So what we uh, can look at is the version, right now I'm working with a relatively old version, which is 2021.3, okay? But it doesn't make a big difference. Now, of course, you don't have any version installed yet. So in order to install an inter version, and I remind you that you can have more than one uh, version installed at the same time on Windows. You can go on Install Editor on the top right, click on that, and you are able to download whatever version you prefer. I strongly suggest you to get an LTS version, which means long-term support. Okay, you, when you see their label as LTS, these versions will be long-term supported. Otherwise, you can also open up the beta program to get, if you uh, want, some uh, uh, beta version. You also have the Unity 6 Preview, which I'm not going to use for this tutorial. But of course, this is the latest version that you can download and test yourself. All right, so once you uh, install your preferred Unity version, close it. Uh, what we do, we go on Manage Licenses, okay? Here, we can either activate or return a license. Now, if you guys are working with the free version of Unity, uh, you don't need to pay a penny for that, and you can simply activate uh, your free, free license version, okay? So how do you get uh, a working license? So first of all, you have to create a Unity account if you don't have one yet. So you just go on, again, unity.com, you uh, create your login, uh, I will sign in here, once you're logged in with your Unity account, you can click on the top right, go to My Account, then go to My Account, and then go to My Seats. Click on that. You will find a serial key that you can copy and paste into the Unity app slot so that you can activate your free license. Okay, so once you're done with that, uh, we are ready to start. And what we can do is we uh, create a new project. So we click on new project. You see at the top here, it's, it's, it reminds you what version of the engine we are using. 
and you can pick any of the template but right now uh, what I would like you to do is to stick to 3D built-in rendering pipeline, okay? So over here on the right, you can pick the desired location where you want to save your project and you want to give it a name. For example, let's just call it KR Learn Project. And if you are under an organization, you might want to pick the right organization here, but that's not mandatory. And make sure that uh, connect to Unity Cloud is unchecked because we are not going to use that. And once you're done, just click on Create Project. Unity might take a little bit to load up for the first time because it has to create packages, binaries, and all that stuff. So just hold on. All right, so Unity is loading. It's compiling the C-sharp solution that comes with it. All right, so welcome to Unity. Uh, for this uh, last part of this first tutorial, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna make sure that under Edit, Preferences, External Tools, our external script editor is uh, correctly identified and selected. If it's not, so if you see something like open by file extension or anything that is not your current Visual Studio installation, go ahead and just check that, okay? You might wanna click once on your regenerate project files, just make sure you clean it up and then you close this and you can go on file, save project, and we are ready to start working with Unity and Visual Studio so our environment is set up. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel. Feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you at the next one.